we're back at Golf Universe in Kennewick, Washington to play the front nine holes of mini golf at their desert course using a small dog ball with a bell. These two inch hollow jingle balls are great at keeping your dog's attention during fetch, but how do they play at mini golf? Today's matchup, we have Sean versus Tyrell in a nine hole stroke play competition oh. where the loser receives a punishment. Okay. Hole one is a two path par three featuring a ramp into a plinko board or the lame safe path. So it's a real crap shoot, huh? Yeah, just a little bit of plinko. Hit it with the club. <laughs> nope. Oh, oh my god. That was brutal. There you go. It rolls nice. Can't pull Sean. Gotta make this. Took the lead early. Tyrell scores birdie, taking an early one stroke lead. Hole two is a sharp dog leg left par three towards the pin. The bank it. Not bad. A little bouncy. Nope. Uh, what? Gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna go a little more. Just move the bounce. Not bad. Tied the game back up. Sean scores birdie, regaining a stroke from Tyrell and tying the game back up. Hole three is a two path par three in which you have to navigate some barricades to the pin. I kinda like this cap over here more than I like that cap. Not bad. Nope. That was bad. It's a lip. <laughs> We're just gonna go back and forth probably. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the hole in one. Did not make this. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, I banked it off this. Back through it. Why do you always get lucky bounces? <laughs> nope. Count it as three. Should have been two. Sean and Tyrell both score par, maintaining the tie a third of the way through. So far, these balls play similar to golf balls. They're definitely the nicest we've had in a long time. Oh yeah, I like it. Hole four is a sharp dog leg left par three towards the pin. I was doing math. <laughs> Not bad though. A little higher up would have been nice. The deuce. Should not have made that. <laughs> I hit the back. <laughs> I thought I missed it. Both Sean and Tyrell now score birdie and maintain the tie yet again. Hole five is a long straight par three, but into a smaller version of the dreaded volcano hole. Big strip, man. Uh, 
definitely thought that broke left to right. <laughs> no, on There's no break to it. Nope. Oh my god. Thought I had it. Thought I was going to get that illustrious two. At this point, Sean would lip out uh -oh. multiple times what? and eventually hit the six stroke max for the hole. Bro. <laughs> but I hit the lip three times in a row so far. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> what is up with mini golf courses and volcano holes? Oh. <laughs> Too hard! Like Sean, Tyrell would also struggle with lipping on this hole. Stop. Alright. Okay. I, I, I might be able to make this. If I don't make this, it's, it's downhill from here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was celebrating. Oh. I'll take five. Tyrell manages to get one to drop right before hitting the max stroke limit, taking a one stroke lead on Sean. Hole six is a par three putt down a water slide for a look at the pin. Yeah, that's needed. That feels good. <laughs> Did not roll well out of there. Boom! I just need a little water. Don't put it in your mouth, that was good. <laughs> it's supposed to be up to 100 degrees, right, Sean? Yeah, 102. You can do it, I can do it, right? Yep. Anything you can do, I can do better. Gotta have that mentality. Nope. Apparently not. Bigger balls, more lips. That's what they said about height. <laughs> what? <laughs> nope. Oh. oh my god, with the lips, dude, the lips. That's big. That's too many strokes right there. Sean would stumble on this hole, with Tyrell now opening a three-stroke lead with only three holes remaining. You're falling a little behind, Sean. What you gonna do? I'm trying to shoot a score higher than temperature. <laughs> hole seven is a three-path par three, featuring wooden objects to avoid in the beginning and concrete past the hole. I think I'm gonna try to squeeze this little gap right here. Oh, that's cool. Probably won't get it. Not bad. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm giving you an opportunity. Yeah, that always works. That's what I'm doing. Cooling down the putter. It's fine. I'm gonna go to the left of the beat. All right. Sean would not even give himself a look at Birdie to regain some strokes. In fact, he really fumbled this hole. Nope. It keeps rolling. Nope. God, you give me opportunities and I'll just throw them away not looking good for you. Sean's recent struggles would find himself in a five-stroke deficit with only two holes remaining. With the punishment looming, Sean would need a miracle. Hole eight is a downhill snaked path par three with barricades blocking the middle towards the pin. I'm gonna try to squeeze past the left side and through that opening. Not exactly the shot I was going for, but it'll work. Way too soft, what am I doing? 
Wait a minute. Nope. It should have got like half that distance. Well, when I'm lucky, I'm lucky. All right. Hole in one. Come on, baby. Lucky. You kind of need it. Keep going. Never stop. That's shit. <laughs> Tyrell told me that it plays a little fast, obviously. Nope. A little fast. A little fast. I barely touched it. Got the three. Take the three. Tyrell and Sean both score par, going into the final hole with Sean down five strokes. I don't know if you're gonna come back, Sean. Pretty good at closing the doors you give me. <laughs> hole nine is a hard right half circle par three with a glaring shortcut with the stairs. Nope. That should do her. Just for fun. Just for fun. Just for fun. <laughs> oh, I would have been mad. <laughs> <laughs> Sean manages to gain a stroke back, but a little too late. Tyrell beat Sean by four strokes. Sean couldn't jingle all the way to a victory, making him today's big loser. I bought a bottle of buffalo wing soda. For Sean's punishment, he must drink this foul soda. I'll pick that up later, Dad. <laughs> buffalo wing sauce. That's so much carbonation. I mean, it's 102 out, so it can't be that bad. <laughs> it really face. kicks you in the throat, dude. <laughs> Does it it's, taste like buffalo wing? No, it's like got the essence of it. Like if you carbonated straight up hot sauce. It's not. It's not the worst, but it like gives you aftertaste. Like, yeah, it gives you a little something in the throat. <laughs> a little extra. Yeah, I'll try it again. <laughs> 